Stephen Bush beer reviews, old son. Welcome back. Come on, Stephen. Get over there. I'm trying. I'm slow. All right, we just did the Lead Slingers Wheat. Uh, the Wheat Ale, 4.5% out of Moore, Oklahoma. Good Excuse Plain me. Jane Wheat. Great. Yeah, Lead Slingers started out doing whiskey. They now do uh, like a cinnamon whiskey. They have rum. Uh, they're going to be doing IPAs and stouts coming up pretty soon. I uh, told them to be on the lookout. We're going to let them know how we, what we think about this beer. So, Jesse? All right, what we got here? Lead Slingers Lager. Let's see here. 5.5. So, hey, roll that before you open it. There's floaters and shit on the bottom. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Get the old swoosh. We'll swish it at the end. Hey, Brad, you know that we got the largest run of beers that we've done together coming up tonight? Yeah, I know. I, I was in, the, in my room pulling them out of the mini fridge and had them lined up in front of the TV in case he walked in. He's like, God damn. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get kind of hammered tonight. I thought that's what we were doing every night. What the? What? Give me all the floaters. Do you like a floater? Mm, that's really aromatic and citrusy. For being a lager, it's... Very airy. Yeah, airy. Airy. Don't now, you might see lager, Snorky. but don't think, don't think Budweiser. It's not like that. Not cheap, shitty no. lager. Yeah. Holy, hey, don't talk about Budweiser like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get what you're saying. But <laughs> I used to drink Budweiser. I can't hardly touch it. You got a whole no shit more. ton of Bud Selects in his fridge. And in Bud the Select's different. <laughs> you had Bud Select? Not 55, regular Bud Select, black label. Never had it. Oh, I've had that before. I watched, had it yeah, well, I tried to watch the video that you guys done on it. But y'all were way too fucking drunk by the time you got there. The whole video was basically about the fucking keto diet. <laughs> we had the Bud Select Black Label, not the 55, just the regular Bud Select. Oh, I love that. All right. It's good. It. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, girls. Mm. A little lighter. It's in between a Bud Light and a Bud Weiser, but it doesn't have that nasty no. aftertaste, and it's not sweet. It's not in between them. No, I'm talking about strength. Flavor than either one of those wow. ever. No, I'm talking about strength. People will go huh? and see lager and think, you know... Piss water. Yeah. Well, I don't think piss water when I hear lager. It's, like, real dark, too. Like, it's not even close to the same color as a Bud Weiser. Sometimes when I, I hear... When I hear piss water, I, piss I think, water. like... Piss water. Keystone. Keystone. This water, that face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bitter bitch face. Uh, kind of. It's a little, little roasty. I mean, like, define a lager. Number two, Taco Tuesday. What? <laughs> Number two, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Titty Tuesday, son. Yeah. You ought to see my butthole. I mean, I can edit it out. I mean, if you want to show it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just take a screenshot. It's all right. Was it on Facebook? That's what you're into. <laughs> Steven, I'm going to give you two facts right now. Number one, this beer is really good. Number two, Epstein didn't kill himself. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton did it. Oh, better watch out. <laughs> You'll be next. <laughs> I'll testify in court against that fucking kind. Yeah, you're going to suicide yourself next if you don't watch out. <laughs> hey, I'm going oh, hey, to show you guys something. Here. One second. I'm going to edit this out real quick. back. All right, so me and Jesse reviewed this beer a long time ago, but since we're talking about politics and stuff. Oh, wow, that's old. No Obama, Obama. bro. That's old. Yeah, this was what, uh, Where's the year on there? Oh, God, it was old when we had it. It was um, Hur Brewing Company. Look it up, man. It, it, I don't even think it left the state. Tulsa. Yeah. Maine, Tulsa. Uh, hey, you're, last weekend when we done that brewery deal, I mentioned Hubert and you said no. That you never had nothing no, from them. No, I did. I mentioned this the the Hubert Nobama Brew, and I mentioned the. Right. Uh, the Honestly, I was too hammered to pay attention. Yeah, we and I mentioned the really fresh. bad root beer that they had. Oh yeah, that's was right. Was there a year on there? Right. No. Oh man, because there's a year on there. It was on the clearance where I actually got it. Before Stephen, 
Foreskin? Huh? Jesus. The weekend before last, whenever Bradley got in trouble for going bang bang in the backyard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The you fireball know, video? Before, I was probably drunker than that last weekend. <laughs> Oh, I was horrible at Zubru. <laughs> Zubru, I Wait, was. You were by yourself, wow. huh? I was during pre-brew. Then my brother and his wife showed up for the regular Zubru. They said I was already drunk when they showed up from the pre-brew. <laughs> I don't remember the last what, like. That's only an hour. I don't remember like the last hour and a half of the event. They said I was running around picking people up and shit, just going nuts all over the place. <laughs> They said I had a good time. I don't remember none of it. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. Hey, we're I'm, we're doing Zubru next year. We're not going to Harvest. It's it's too big of a pain in the ass to go to Harvest. I was going to go to Zubru this year, and I waited too late to try to order tickets, and they were gone. Fucking ninety to, bucks. Well, I wasn't really worried about that, but I went oh yeah, you dropped pay. you dropped six hundred dollars at the goddamn casino in one night. Shut the fuck. Up. <laughs> Could have dropped that much money on a new gun. Yeah, I knew. Remember, you, you called that Glock money. <laughs> Wait a second, you dropped $600 at the casino, but every other time we try to get you to go to a beer event, oh, I don't know if I got the money to get that ticket. Oh. But I got 600 to throw at the casino. Well, that was before I had a real job. <laughs> it's like a dick. A job that paid more than $10 an hour, you know? Blown out the back. You hit that street corner, didn't you? Blown out the back of his neck. <laughs> you should, yeah, you should see the hole in the back of my neck. <laughs> Alright, so this is really good, easy drinking beer, as you can see. It's Something you can just have whenever, wherever, with a bunch of friends. No one's really going to say it's a bad beer. No. No. Honestly, you should probably just drink it out of the bottle. Yeah. Probably. Anywho. <laughs> we're gonna Ribbed same, for his pleasure. We're going to do the same way. Jesse, me, uh, Casey, you. It's all right. I don't know what the hell I'm Casey. Throwing the numbers at the damn phone ain't looking. <laughs> I think we're all doing the same score. Fucking nine. What'd you say? Nine and a half. Oh, me and him both did 8.5, nine, nine and a half. I think this is a little easier to drink. I wouldn't say easier to drink. It's, it has more flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, flavor's all there. Yeah. It has quite a bit of flavor, and it's really sessionable, but it's like, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of leaves my mouth a little dry. I don't get that. I would definitely have to chug the fuck out of them to... I think that's the Twisted Tea. I'm not, I haven't took a drink of Twisted Tea since we started. All right. Slingers, you guys kicked out some good beers. Um, Can't wait to see more. I literally have four folders of beer reviews lined up. Two of them with uh, Brad and Casey, and one with Ty that I'm doing now. So it's... Got a list. I got a list. I got I got literally almost eighteen beer reviews ahead of this. It's always either you're running dry and have nothing else to put out, or you're freaking. Or I have a shit ton. All right, we'll see. I buy it simply because of the label. No shit. Hell yeah, badass label. Uh, 